Beaver Lodge. Hairs in the desert. These are all the ones that are just uh, open at the moment. Okay, I'm just gonna bite the bullet. I'm just gonna, like, everything seems pretty good right now. So I'm just gonna sit here and make the, and keep things ticking until we get 250,000 and then we're gonna go and do this carrot task. Keep eating those potatoes, guys. Are they still eating the potatoes? Seem to be. Hey, how come there, there used to be two potato party tasks? There used to be one for like... Oh, maybe there wasn't. I don't know, I thought there was uh, another repeatable. Maybe there's only a certain amount of repeats on it or something. Could have sworn I had three repeatables. Digging a hole. Yeah, that was the other. That was, you're right, that was the other repeatable. Oh, yeah, it is. It's here. I'm just not seeing it. Thank you, guys. Oh, the tropics are looking nice now. Look at them go. Right, we're good now. Okay, let's see if we can do this carrot thing. Because that'll be a really good repeatable to have. So the earlier I do that, the better, really. Okay, let's find a good carrot. And uh, we want to selectively breed that to be golden. Now, it needs to be near rabbits. Are there rabbits around here? Yeah, we do. Maybe we should make sure there's a few more rabbits around here. I'm gonna make this one into a golden one. You never know where the carrot's gonna pop up. Oh no! Did that die before it could? I need to check the health on these things. Darn it. Oh gosh, because of course there's rabbits everywhere eating them as well. Oh, this is gonna be tough. Oh no. clothes do you two have? Okay, we had washing from where I'd just been changing bedding and not washing it, stacking up. We had ferret bedding, as you see. Uh, ferret bedding was at least five loads. Clothing. Um, was there anything else? That was about it, really. Mostly, it was mostly bedding, honestly. Because every time you take a bed off and obviously when you move you strip down all the beds and everything as well so that was a good three or four loads just from all the beds and things in the house that had been stripped down and I had blankets and things off the beds as well but yes Emma on ferret bedding I have an entire stack box full of folded blankets and then I have on top of that stack box of folded blankets I've got like, and it's one of the massive like 60 litre or whatever ones and then like I've got another entire like stack the same size sat on top of it and because I've had the ferrets in two different cages I've had to have two different cages worth of bedding being changed out all the time but they're back in one cage now so it's less washing, yay! This game is Equilinox, and it's a game all about uh, making different species. 
uh, selective breeding and then evolving things. But I'm trying to work out how to selectively breed this carrot without the rabbits all eating it. Now I'm thinking I might need to put a carrot somewhere where there are no rabbits and try and spread it across. I don't know, because I spent all that time and then the carrot just got eaten. It's going to be really difficult. The other thing I can do is to take rabbits out of the area. I'm gonna like plant a carrot like over here. So it can propagate. Getting them to propagate is gonna be even harder because you've got to do it through selective breeding and then you've got to get the, cat, the, the rabbit to eat the darn thing. And sort of propagate in the right direction. Right, you look like a good candidate. I'm gonna guard you from all the other rabbits though. But I do need to uh, save up again. See that just disappeared as well. It was a tiny little carrot. Is it unhealthy or something? Just randomly disappeared. Yeah that one over there is like really unhealthy. So yeah, just saving up again quickly. Stash them and transplant. That's a great idea actually. But how much does it cost to transplant a carrot is the first thing I want to know. Eventually what I'll want to do is to get rid of all the carrots in an area and then just like only plant golden ones so the rabbits are just totally eating golden carrots all the time. 20,000 to transplant a carrot and you get 15,000 back from the rabbit eating it. So it's good to get it started but I'm going to need them to propagate themselves or it's not worth doing. So I need to put this carrot somewhere where nothing's going to really eat it. Root veg, carrot. Grassland, what forest or woodland? So we could put one like up here. Try and keep it away from the sh this sheep and stuff. What's this like species then? To be near stones. Oh, okay, I can do that for it. Right, so put a carrot there. And I'm gonna put some stones nearby it. So, once I have enough, that will be the one. It's got good health. Already propagating other carrots. Which is a good sign. The sheep are kind of coming around here, but they're not really eating the carrots, seemingly. plant a, a brand new carrot. I'm going to wait to get to this 250 actually. And then I'll plant a brand new carrot. And then that carrot will be the one I will work on. And hope to spread the golden carrots around. Okay, so we've got 250 now. I want 257 actually. No worries, safe from the hoppy hops, I know, it's awful. Okay, let's 
try again. Get a golden carrot. to buy it at the time. I didn't, it was 269k. Right, let's just check the health of this carrot now. Its health is awful. Okay, we'll let that one die off. Is that one newer? I need a brand new carrot. This one. Okay, so it's brand new carrot, nice and healthy. Give it the maximum amount of time possible for it to propagate its golden loveliness. Grass tuft. Come on. Golden carrot. So much luck involved in this, it's not even funny. Oh yeah! Oh yeah, golden carrot. Oh yeah. Okay, do we have more than one? We do. Okay. Are they like super happy over here? Yes. Please make me more. Please don't die out, please make me more. Golden carrots. Did they, die, did they die out or is there more? That's another carrot. It is also golden. That's another carrot. Also golden. Okay, cool. Whew. Please just keep propagating. over there as well. Okay, this is starting to work. Come on. Don't all just die without propagating. Okay, it's working. Okay, so is there any way that we can it a better breeder. We can make it more edible. We can make it bigger or we can change its colour, so no. We've got five now. Okay. Path of rocks to the bunny zone. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea, actually. That sounds like an epic idea. Starting to properly propagate. 
I'll probably transplant one at some point. An orange carrot or golden carrot? That's an orange carrot. What I want to do is to start removing the orange carrots as much as possible. Even a golden carrot. Oops. I want any orange carrots around here at all. I don't know what kind of carrot you are. You're a golden carrot. The stones thing seems to be working really well, actually. Okay, a rabbit came and ate. A golden... Twenty-four of them. Wow. Well, they seem to be springing up like daisies now, so that's great. And the rabbits are coming across to eat them a little bit, but not too much. I wonder, do I pay to transplant them, maybe? Just a little closer. Fantastic, we're getting there. Oh, night, nice. cucumber. We already removed the non gold. Ca oh, right, okay. Thumbs up there. That was clearly an old message. All the carrots around here are lovely gold carrots. Chickens are all getting eaten by the fox, and the rabbits are all eating golden carrots. Rabbits have all like moved over here, probably. They're like, oh, yum! Look what awesome food we have around here. Spreading everywhere, it's great. I don't know if the fox has eaten all the rabbits though. Might have to cull some of the foxes maybe. Because I don't know about you guys, but I ain't seen too many rabbits around here. remove that tree as well. Um, that tree down by the water's edge can stay because the ducks like it. But I think I may need to put more rabbits in around here actually. 
Does the fox say too many, even though I only put like two foxes in? Baby foxes and everything. So we may need to control the predator population. Then it might be that the rabbits will die because they took all the carrots away. <laughs> But that will give a good chance for the carrots to propagate, so I don't actually mind too much. We want a strong, healthy carrot population before we put a strong, healthy rabbit population in. Okay, you could probably go for one now. So, small herbivores. Rabbit. Put in two, they should breed. Anything the rabbits like to help them out? Let's have a look. They seem pretty happy there. All their light species going for the carrots there. Like I say, we needed to just make sure that the carrots were all right before the rabbits start like eating all of them. We've got a good few of them up here. I'll put a few more stones up here so the carrots around here can just sort of propagate a bit because that way I can always transplant a carrot from over here if we're struggling a bit over where the rabbits are so a bit more you know Four carrot then right two have been eaten by bunnies but like as I say it's nice to grow the carrots before the bunnies completely ravage, ravage them so that's cool uh, so what's next then beavering away banana farmer hungry turtles a wolf in sheep's clothing to hunt the sheep all the hunters now Flies caught. The swamp is a dangerous place to be if you're a fly. The plant called the fly trapper loves to live in the swampy areas and has an appetite for small flying insects. And for this repeatable task, the more flies the plants catch, the more you profit. Ooh, well, I think that sounds pretty good. I think we could do that. So we need to make a fly trapper because this is another repeatable and the repeatables are what's getting me all my money basically. Yeah, there is another rabbit population in the woods, but I think the carrots like being in the grassland more or so. I'm not sure actually why I haven't put carrots across there. But I think I think it was just that I took the carrots away, honestly. That's why they all died. Oh, thank you for the bits, little rabbit. With a little show love heart. Okay, so... Fly trapper. And that's apparently a plant. It's a swampy plant. Fly trapper. Right, so you need the swamp flower. And we need to have flies nearby. Mmm. from a butterfly unlocked by the mighty jungle and then bees and flies okay so we need to get insects from the mighty jungle have we done the mighty jungle no we have not so we need to move out of the swamp and get over to the jungle so we can get flies <laughs> right so I need to get jungle flowers so how are we gonna get jungle flowers and we also need Oh no, just the jungle flowers. Okay. That's fine. We need some stones nearby. I think I can manage that. Okay, so we evolved the jungle flower, then we've done the mighty jungle task.
The rabbits need to show their enjoyment of the carrots. I agree. Uh, enjoy yourself in lurk mode. Stop it! Oh my goodness, the grass keeps dying. And none of it's near stones enough. Really? Unbelievable bubble. Done. Right, jungle flowers. Oh, that's miles away. You don't want that over there. You want it like over here or something. Cool. Does not like the altitude. Oops. Yeah, let's have a look at the altitude at once. Below 20 meters. Okay, so we need to go down the hill a little bit with it. I'll just pop some more down. basically okay we've done the, the mighty jungle task now great probably spent more than 40,000 DP doing it but to unlock the butterfly which is what we need so let's have a look at the butterfly and see what that's all about so what do you need to be in the grassland forest jungle swamp lush woodland tropical eats flowers and requires a couple of points of food. Okay. Good for frogs and toads. Okay. Right, well, I'm going to go stick the butterflies over in the swamp then. And we'll maybe be able to just, like, get some flies over there. I don't know. Swamp butterfly! Oh gosh, you start off with caterpillars! And they turn into... They turn into butterflies! When are you going to turn into a butterfly then? Oh! Oh, it's halfway there! Oh, off it goes! It's so cute! the butterflies they're well cool but unfortunately we've got to make them into flies which ain't so cool I need to be able to pause this so I can select the butterflies oh my goodness that's so hard to select they go everywhere right okay so to make you into a fly we need turnips nearby well that's good because uh oh you've got no flowers oh gosh okay we need like a swamp flower or they're gonna die but we don't have a swamp flower oh no okay bulrushes we need you to evolve into a swamp flower right now oh but you need toads nearby all right well we need to work on the lizards and stuff then don't we before we can even look at this <laughs> it's like because those butterflies are just going to die of starvation. Oh gosh, the rabbits are starving. Oh dearie me. Those golden carrots aren't propagating fast enough, nearly fast enough at all. Okay, what else can a rabbit eat other than carrots? But then really it would be, it's good for the, the rabbits not to have too much food. Obviously the butterflies are starving as well. Okay, but that's fine. We don't, we can't do, do anything about that right now. So I needed, what was it? Bulrushes. A swamp flower, but we needed toads nearby. For toads, we need lizards. Right, 
Right, so let's start making reptiles. So lizards, where do you live? Where's a good place for you? Jungle, tropical or lush? So we stick some lizards in the jungle then to start with. Hello my little lizard friend. Are you happy there? Seems fairly happy. Okay. Have you got food? What do you eat? And it likes to be under rocks and stuff. Doesn't really say what it eats. Okay, fine. Fine by me. So I need you to evolve into a frog. And I also need you to evolve into a turtle, but... Oh, we can do that straight away. That's amazing. Water lily... Well, as I say, water lily will spread riverbed. So it depends on whether we want riverbed over there. I haven't decided yet. Oh, 24 hour full carrot gold task has been done. Yes. Okay, so we've got a little froggy. I'll put it down there. She's pretty happy there, playing around. Okay, so. I want to make you into a toad. To do that, it needs to be very satisfied with its how. Uh, with its place in in the in the world. And it also needs to be the colour of mud. Ah, oh, we've got loads of little lizards wandering around. Okay, little frog. We need you to selectively breed to the colour of mud. Okay, there's another light species that it wants. It likes insects, mushrooms and flowers. Oh, we've got flowers, so let's put some butterflies in then. So that the frogs are happier. And then we can make toads. Just watching this world just come to life. We're gonna have to do beavers before the end as well, definitely, I think, if we can. I know that's one of the tasks. We'll make the beavers. So beavers are one of the most interesting creatures in Aquilodox. If you place them in an area near to water with trees, they'll start the process of building a lodge. I'll cut down trees and use wood to build a lodge at the water's edge. Unlocks the logarithm task, 60,000 DP. So we'll work on beavers, I think, in a minute. So, how are the frogs doing? We could go and work on beavers while the frogs do their thing. And then go and work on that fly trap thing. Because I like, I like having repeatables, it's great. Frog, are you happy now? Yes, a very happy frog. Super happy frog, but just the wrong colour frog. Let me just see if we can get any of these mud coloured frogs. Oh, there we are! Mud, fro mud frog! Don't make a toad out of you. I love the little baby frog was following around the mommy frog. It's so cute. Okay, we can put toads in now. What do toads like? Then we'll go do beavers. Toads like to be in the swamp or the jungle. 
They like to be around mushrooms and rocks and stones. They like to catch and eat nearby insects. They seem very happy there. Okay, so now my bulrushes should hopefully be allowed to evolve into a swamp flower. Oh, I need three toads. Okay, let's put another toad in. Hopefully the toads don't decide to go too far away. And then the butterflies will be okay, and then they can evolve into flies, and then we can do fly traps. Yeah, the toads, toads ran away. I just keep putting more toads in. There, swamp flower done. I don't know where it's gone, but it's done. It's unlocked. There it is. I think it'll be fine wherever, probably. No, of course not. It needs its light species around, apparently. Everything else is fine. But its light species is not around. Okay, so its light species is probably something like flies. I'm extremely confused. I can't even find it now. And it's there. I'm saying it's not very happy. doesn't like mushrooms. Uh oh. Right, Let's just remove some of the mushrooms from around here. plant a few of these over by the trees here and we'll try and just keep the mushrooms away yeah, this is going to be a bit like the chickens I'll just have to be really careful The baby duck was following the mama duck. Yeah, they, the babies do, they follow the mamas around. It's really cute. I'm going to remove that one because it's just really unhappy there. Just trying to keep a line here where I'm going to try and keep the, uh, the mushrooms away. spread the swamp around a bit as well so yay we have all the toads and all that sort of thing we've got the, the swamp flowers so now we need the butterflies back that's what we were struggling for was the butterflies once we've got flies we might not even need the swamp flowers but we definitely need it for the butterfly stuff will start to have something to eat now, not be starving. And they can feed off the swamp flowers. And then when they 
we have more than one. Yes, great. They're propagating. Awesome. Awesome source. So, let's make you into flies. And bees. And then once we have bees, we can sort the ducks out. Another swamp flower. Awesome. Oh, they're loving the swamp flowers. Fantastic. Need turnips nearby. Okay, let's plant a couple of turnips over here. I'm sure it spreads swamp the turnip. Well, clearly okay, it doesn't then. All right then. So it must be um, bushes. No, sorry. Small plants. Vegetable plant. Small plants, root vegetable, turnip. Got a couple of turnips around, and hopefully we can turn that into a fly then. No, I need the flies before I get the fly trapper. Come on. Right, fly. Not that I really want to turn a beautiful butterfly into a icky yucky fly. But, you know, I'm not going to avoid it. I can't select the... Half the task here is selecting the blinking butterflies. They're so fast. Go on, fly. Okay. We've got stinky flies now. Great. Yay, just what we need. So, stinky fly, are you happy? I can't even select you to see if you're happy, because you're just so fast. It's not even on fast forward or anything. Okay. Right, so fly is totally happy, wandering around, being a fly. So, let's turn the swamp fly in... Uh, okay, so it needs to be 1.10 times. So by the time I've managed to, to do that... And made sure I've kept all the mushrooms away. So we will just take these out. One of the ones over here, maybe. No, that's not very healthy. We need a good healthy one. That's good and healthy. Right, so we're going to make this a little bit bigger. Big one, and just remove that mushroom, and then remove this mushroom over here. Probably this one. Let's just cull them right back. I want to go and check the trees over by the chickens as well, just make sure that they have been culled as much as they need to be. That seems fine. How are we doing for golden carrots? They're still around. They still exist, so that's great. Not spreading the greatest, but they are starting to spread more. Every carrot around there is a golden carrot now. Oh, so we did the butterfly one. Unlocks a pink tree, apparently, and flutter by. The world will be pretty boring without the presence of some creepy crawlies. The first insect you can add into your world is a butterfly. Have 12 butterflies in the world. Wonderful. So we've done 39 and 59 tasks now. And the world's looking a lot like nicer now as well. Why would you evolve flies? Yeah, well. Oh, look, it's snowing up there with my little goats and my sheep and stuff. Oh, that's so cute. Um, I understand the necessity of flies. I just don't like them. Oh, 
mushrooms. Mushrooms are getting ridiculous now. Stay away. Keep them really pushed back over here then. Wow, at some point I went up to 9,000 DP a minute when I wasn't wasn't even looking to. When did that happen? Right, I'll just have a look at any of the flowers that have grown around here. Try and work out if they're big enough to make a fly trapper. 0 0.98, 0 0.99. That's a turnip. It's always good to look at the small ones though of things. Swamp grass. More turnips. I imagine that not many swamp flowers grew because the mushrooms started to encroach. So again, you really need to babysit this. That would be the right size. Lovely stuff. Let's see if we can evolve it into a fly trap. Yes, we can. Perfect. Hopefully, it's healthy enough. Oh gosh. Left that a bit long. It's gone. Okay, let's see if it left any. That's not big enough. Left any progeny. Flies aren't near enough to this. We can put some more in. How healthy is it? It's reasonably healthy. So if I stick in a couple more flies. Stinky flies. the evolution with that one at least until that dies oh look how many flies there are this is what happens with flies that's why you need fly trappers look at them Ugh. okay fly trappers Been in the swamp. Fly trapper. All right, well, where is it then? All the way over here. Move it slightly more into the swamp land, like there. Not very happy because it only has one out of three of its light species. Okay, what does it like then? It likes mushrooms and dead trees. Okay, I'm gonna let the mushrooms come back in over here then. put in the dead trees if I can. Right, so that evolves from the slimy tree. How many slimy trees are around? I don't. I have to put down a slimy tree. I must have been a bit unhappy at some point. k to play so no so we want to keep them as happy as possible and try and get them to they've got plenty of food at least they're not gonna be hungry it's happier with its mushrooms around it obviously that's gotten rid of a lot of the um the flowers which is where the butterflies go but i don't mind because the butterflies can just live in the jungle instead like if, if the swamp flowers die out that's fine by me I can put them in later, I can maybe 
make another little swamp area that's speci specifically like butterfly and swamp flower related, but it just seems that they don't like mushrooms and the whole point of the swamp is mushrooms. The fly trappers seem really super happy over there though. Okay, so I want to make you into a dead tree. Oh, other than the DP, I've got everything I need. Nice. I think I didn't do it before because I had toads. So we'll do this and then we'll go and do beavers. I need to fast forward it to get the DP. 120,000 for a dead tree. What? And it needs all the toads and warthogs and stuff nearby as well. This swamp is getting kind of interesting now, though. Whoa. Evolve, dead tree, evolve. So as the warthogs and toads like walk around, um, sort of walk away, sometimes it might stop. Back you come. And say so it's nice that you don't have to pay for evolution again if it dies. With selective breeding, that is a pain. Like you're selective breeding something and then it just wanders off. Okay, so we've got a dead tree. Where did it put itself? Over here. I'm gonna pop it over here by all the fly trappers. It's not happy because it's by a disliked species. Oh man! What doesn't what don't you like now, dead tree? What species don't you like? Mushrooms. No, it dislikes large rocks. Alright. Oh, well, is there something that likes large rocks? Is there a reason I have large rocks around? I can just get rid. Probably needed it earlier for something else. That ah, seems happy now. Cool. Nothing else seems particularly unhappy from the removal of the large rocks, so they were probably there for something that I needed to evolve at some point. Fly trapper. Oh, does the fly trapper like large rocks? You watch it, Will. What's it missing? Mushroom, dead tree, insects. Oh, maybe there's not enough mushrooms nearby. No. Oh, because the dead tree's not nearby. That's why. We can, but those will grow, and uh, we can put more in and stuff. But like the the slimy trees really don't like staying. They're terrible. Okay, so we caught the flies. Nice. And butterfly butterflies caught as well. By the frogs. Oh right, so the frogs in the jungle. Oh wonderful. So over here all these frogs and butterflies going on. I'm not even seeing the frogs. Are there many frogs in here? Oh, there's a few. They're all muddy coloured. Let's put some green frogs in. They all come from that muddy coloured frog. some green ones too. Okay. What did I make there? Is that a toad? Okay, well if you want to be there, toad, you can be there. Alright then. Beavers. Let's go make beavers. 
you don't build your own world in this. You're kind of, you're placing grasses, trees, plants and animals into the world and then you're just making them, you're evolving them, you're making them different colours, you're getting brand new species all the time. So I'll just show you what we're doing straight in. Uh, so at the moment we're wanting to make beavers. So to make a beaver, uh, they come under small carnival, no, small herbivore, sorry. So beaver and the meerkat are the two that I haven't made yet. So to do that we need to uh, get them to evolve from a rabbit. So we go and find a rabbit, so there's some over here, there's a rabbit. And we go and find out how we make that rabbit into someone's hungry somewhere. That'll probably be a duck. Um, how we make that rabbit into a beaver. So there'll be certain requirements. So it needs to have bulrushes and wobbly trees nearby. So basically to make a beaver, it seems like I... Well, what's a wobbly tree? Where's the wobbly tree? Let's go and find out where the wobbly tree grows. I've not seen a wobbly tree yet. Swamp trees. So I just want all trees. So we need to know where a wobbly tree goes. So wobbly tree. in the grassland. Oh, okay. So we need a little grassland trees there. So this is grassland over here. So wobbly trees will grow nicely over here. I'll pop a couple in. And it needs bulrushes as well. I don't know if bulrushes will grow here very well, but we'll see. I developed them over in the swamp land, but maybe they will. Bulrushes. So do they also live in grasslands? Apparently they can. Oh, you put them right by the water's edge. Okay. Put them right by the water's edge just along here then. Bulrushes. A couple of those. Now we need a rabbit over here. And hopefully we can turn that into a beaver now. Oh, we need three bulrushes. Okay, we can do that. Hey, rabbit. Turn into a beaver, please. Oh, and we need 115,000 DP. Yay! Hopefully the rabbit won't go away while we're trying to... There we are. Start evolving. So now evolve this rabbit into a beaver. Don't know where he's gone. I hope he's not like running too far away from all the stuff. And then we just wait, keep fast forwarding until eventually we get to the end and the rabbit will turn into, well it won't turn into a beaver, a beaver will appear somewhere on the map basically. So there it's done. And there's our beaver, look. Hello, little beaver dude. So I picked him up. Actually, probably could just go. I think I want to put him over with the ducks over here, actually. Hopefully he's happy. Seems to be happy. There's trees and stuff over here that I uh, can use, like sycamore trees and stuff. They can use to make their, their beaver lodge. I don't know if I'll give him a beaver friend. Uh, not for that price. <laughs> you can just breed. <laughs> yes, there are very bouncy sheep in this, and you can colour everything, whatever colour you want. Let's see if we can get purple sheep yet. Yeah, I forget how much it costs. I think it costs quite a lot. We had a purple bunny rabbit earlier on. 2.6 million for... Oh, it's only 237k for lilac. So we could do a lilac. 
all the sort of natural colours are reasonably inexpensive and then it's like you want a gold one, you want a dark purple one, and you gotta pay. So we're supposed to be making the beavers make a dam. He's in the water there, playing around, eating seaweed. Oh, it's Hannah the beaver. Hello, Hannah the beaver. I could do renaming in this, but it's gonna be like niche where like, there's so many generations of things that renaming would be a nightmare. Sheeparoos, yes. So, I want this little dude to make, so I don't know how many beavers I need for this. I've got all these repeatables now. That's great. Three, four, five, six different repeatables. I need clownfish to, to do this tropical waters one. But yeah, we'll do honey. I'm home. We'll do a like. We'll get some beehives in because the ducks could do with eating the honey, honestly. So getting some bees over here would be really good. And then the lush and the banana farmer. We've only got like 19 quests to go in this. One more stream, maybe? Depends on how difficult they get, though. So you place them in an area near to water with trees, they'll start the process of building a lodge. They'll cut down the wood to build a lodge at the water's edge. I want to see it if they do. Where did you go, beaver? Oh, it's cutting down trees! I think. Are you cutting? Are you making a lodge? You're grazing. Okay. Make a lodge. I'll put. I'll plant you more trees and everything. Look, I'll, I'll plant you more sycamore trees and stuff. Like um, I think. Yeah, over here is woodland. So. Sycamore trees and stuff. And the nut trees need to be higher up. There you go, have some trees. Oh, it's doing it! It's got a lot it's got a log. Look, it's got a log. And it's got a little beaver friend there, look, I think. Oh no, it doesn't. I really want to give him a beaver friend, but like he doesn't It's too expensive. Oh I, okay. You can have a friend. There you go. That's it. Now you got a baby. You want to make it a nice lodge, okay? Like one stick does not a lodge make, okay? Beavering. It's beavering when it builds its lodge. Beavering away. Oh my goodness. Thank you for the host stream, Garden Panda. Nom nom nom, nomming the seaweed. Go on, go do some beavering. There's sticks around and stuff that you can get. I clearly felled a tree there. That's so cool. I'm gonna check over the, the chicken area. The tree in the chicken area. The rabbits seem a bit happier, and the carrots seem to be coming over here a bit more now. Slowly but surely. There's a few about the place. Starting them over here and allowing them to just like creep along there was actually a really good idea because the rabbits don't tend to come over to get the ones over here, so it allows it to regenerate and balance itself, which is fantastic. Oh, look! 69 out of 300 build progress. I'm sorry, I've got to watch this. Like, I'm going to fast forward it though. Adding sticks in. Um, oh, look at it. Look at it go. What are we on now? We're halfway. I'm building the beaver lodge.
Yeah, it's a little bit like Birth is the Beginning. It's, it's just so unlike anything else to compare it to, which is kind of good in a way. We've just hit over 10,000 DP a minute as well. We've got a few beavers now. We've got like three or four of them. How built is it now? Oh, it's nearly there. Oh, go on, beavers. Go finish it. Go finish your little beaver lodge. Oh, it's really nearly done now. Go on. And wait for the beaver to run in with the last little stick. Go on, your lodge is nearly done. A little beaver lodge. That's degenerating. Come on. <laughs> Hurry up and beaver away at it. Come on, beaver lodge. Or is that technically done now? Does it just never really get up to like 300? Oh yeah, it's 300. Woohoo! So that is their beaver lodge. That's, that's as good as it ever gets apparently. But that should be the beaver lodge uh, thing. Yes. Very nice. Very nice indeed. 42 out of 50. I've only got 17 tasks left to do. Oh. So we've got On Your Pike, hun Honey Harvester, Hungry Fish, Spitting Image, Fish Mastery, and Hole in One to do. And then I guess there's some other ones that need to get unlocked. Boo! Well, I think now that we have built the Beaver Lodge and we've got beavers over here. I think that that's going to be it for the stream. So today we built a swamp, we built a little snowy biome up the top here, we built a jungle, and we built a tropical paradise over here as well. So we did loads! So next time we have a desert and a lush biome to build, and lots of animals to unlock and stuff still, I guess. But we have done a lot, like, honestly, we've done tons of stuff. You look at all of the animals. We haven't got salmon, clownfish, angelfish. Actually, quite a few of the fish. We haven't got bears, camels. So there's a few things to get. Apparently, there's one fish that's really difficult. Um, the neon fish. Apparently, that is really just impossible to do. Someone was saying earlier on. Jellyfish. So lots of lots of things to get that fish mastery are going to be a bit difficult so probably will take us a few hours we've got two more two new biomes to build as well although we did about four biomes this time so it was great so happy with that very happy so we'll need to go and find somebody to raid i think so we'll need to save this up save it up game saved and uh, we're going to go on to the end screen. Thank you all so much for joining me. And hopefully we will be doing another stream very soon of this. And get to... I think we can get to the end in the next in the next stream or two. So yes. See you all soon. Keep being awesome.